hello student today we are going to see grich of law uh, problem okay grich of law how to solve this circuit that only we are going to use okay there are two grich of law first grich of law algebraic sum of the current is uh, zero at uh, any junction okay the second one algebraic sum of the voltage is zero that is a two concept i am going to use to solve this problem okay how we can solve this problem first of all you should have the current direction okay uh, so first i will be marking the current direction and also i am going to name it the circuit okay then only i am going to solve the solution okay so just you can give uh, it's uh, your wish a b c d you can give even p q r s also there is no problem okay from 4 volt battery okay and 1 ohms is a internal resistance 3.5 volt battery it is a 2 ohms is a internal resistance okay from 4 volt battery the current is going to come as a i1 okay so the same i1 current is going to flow here okay and this side i2 current is going to come okay so i2 current is going to come so at this junction i1 plus i2 i3 is going to come here okay i3 is going to come in this junction i3 okay so i uh, this battery is given by i1 okay is taken i1 okay this battery is given as i2 this battery is taken as uh, again i2 okay from plus i2 started and coming here okay then it's became as i3 then again i2 is became okay from here i1 is started okay then it came here again it's added i1 plus i2 i3 is going to come here again it's taken i1 okay now how i am going to solve this uh, circuit okay first here in this junction we know i3 is equal to i1 plus i2 okay so i3 is equal to i1 plus i2 it's a grich of first law okay grich of first law algebraic sum of all voltage all the current is zero at any junction okay so algebraic sum of the current i1 plus i2 is equal to i3 just uh, actually we are taken this two addition of i3 okay so first law we know already now i am going to tell you how we can solve the grich of second law okay and also in this video we are going to find i1 i2 i3 okay if you might if you like my channel please subscribe okay so now i am going to teach you how to find i1 i how to find i2 i3 these are the things we are going to find okay so i am going to use grich of second law grich of second law it is called loop law okay i am taken a b uh, d a okay a b d a so this is a loop i am taken okay first we will see a b a b direction only it's uh, i1 direction is there okay it's a plus i1 4 ohms okay then here i3 10 ohms okay it is a b d okay so a b it's a plus b d also it's a plus because it's the same direction okay i3 10 ohms plus i3 10 ohms okay now in this junction okay we have 1 ohms okay, the current is uh, 1 amp uh, i1 okay so internal resistance if you want you can mention here otherwise uh, you can directly you can take it as a 1 ohms as a i1 okay 1 ohms and i1 and first term i got as a minus i am going d to a for d to a first term i got as a minus so i am writing is a minus 4 is equal to 0 in case first if we got plus you can write here it is a plus okay algebraic sum of all voltage and uh, all voltage is equal to 0 okay voltage 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 everything is going to be 0 okay that is a grit of first second last says okay uh, so how i got minus here okay because i got here minus first so that is the reason i am writing here minus okay there are different ways that to solve this kind of solution okay so here minus i got because uh, i am going with a to uh, d to a first uh, if i got negative right here it's a negative okay first if you got plus right here it's a plus okay you can use many of the technique this is a one of the technique okay so this no i3 i know is equal to i1 plus i2 so first you will sol solve this then you will go with the next equation 4 ohms I, uh, 4 volt i am taken as a that side okay i1 4 ohms plus i3 as a you can write as a i1 plus i2 into uh, 10 ohms plus uh, it is uh, i1 okay uh, 1 into anything it will be the uh, 1 only okay so is equal to 4 so 10 i am bringing as a inside okay when you are bringing as a 10 inside you will get it as a uh, 4 times of i1 uh, plus okay 10 i1 plus 10 i2 plus okay uh, i1 is equal to 4 just make it all i1 is a together okay so all i1 so i1 4 i1 10 i1 and 1 i1 so totally i'll get as a 15 i1 plus 10 i2 is equal to 4 
so it is a equation one i got okay from the loop of a b d a okay a b d a loop direction is a very important if loop direction current is flowing you can take it as a plus if opposite means you can take it as a minus okay again grits of second law i'm going to take it okay second law grits of second law we can take it as a uh, loop of second ju or next junction okay b c uh, d b okay the junction i am taken as a b c d b okay so b c d b okay this is a junction i am taken okay b c is a, uh, it is a minus i to 3 ohms okay because i am taken b c it's coming as opposite okay minus i to 3 ohms okay uh, here what is the resistance is a 2 ohms and i to current is there it is a plus 2 times of i2 okay and again uh, it is a uh, current is flowing this side i am taken as a cd okay cd as a my loop okay so you can take it this as a minus okay again this is i3 okay i am taken this side okay i am taken db but current is flowing opposite side okay so current is flowing as i3 is flowing as opposite side so minus i3 times of 10 ohms okay and see here when we are going uh, bc cd uh, db okay fully current is uh, negative we are getting okay in case you can take it b d c b everything will get it as a positive for showing only i am taking everything as a negative okay now we'll see how we can take it the voltage b c c d okay when i am going c to d okay the first terminal i got as a plus so i am taken here it is a plus 3.5 is equal to 0 okay in case if you got minus you can take it as a minus okay so algebraic sum of all voltage is equal to 0 okay this solution i3 i know it is i 1 plus i2 okay uh, so see here uh, this all minus you can bring it as a that side okay otherwise 3.5 you can take it as a that side everything will get minus uh, into minus all equation is going to become as a plus okay so do one thing 3.5 take it as a left side you will get minus 3.5 so minus 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 everything you can check it take it into multiplication of minus so everything will become as a plus okay 3 times of i2 plus 2 times of i2 plus it is i3 i1 plus uh, i2 it's a 10 is equal to 3.5 so 10 i am taken inside okay it's 10 times of i1 10 times of i2 3 i2 plus 2 i2 plus 10 i1 plus 10 i2 is equal to 3.5 so now what is uh, all i2 you can make it together so it is plus times of 10 i1 plus 15 times of i2 is equal to 3.5 so already i have the equation of first equation okay see here first equation 15 i1 plus 10 i2 is equal to 4 we have two equations okay it is 15 i1 plus 10 i2 is equal to 4 these are the two equation we have now we are going to do the solution for this two equation okay how to do the solution just to see uh, it is 10 i1 plus 15 i2 is equal to 3.5 15 i1 plus 10 i2 is equal to 4 okay so just i am doing multiplication this equation with 15 this equation with 10 okay so uh, i1 is going to get cancelled when you are doing this whole equation multiplication of 15 multiplication of 10 okay so first equation multiplication of 15 150 i1 plus 15 into 15 i2 is equal to 3.5 into uh, 15 okay first equation fully just a multiple with 15 second equation fully multiple with 10 okay it is 150 i1 plus it is 10 into 15 uh, i2 is equal to 4 into 15 okay so here it is a 10 so 10 into 10 okay sorry 10 into 10 and 4 into 10 okay just this equation fully we are multiplying with 10 so this getting cancelled okay when we are doing as uh, subtracting okay so 15 into 15 we will get as a 225 i2 minus 100 i2 is equal to uh, this it's 3.5 into 15 minus 40 okay 3.5 into 15 what we'll get it is a 5 to uh, it is 17 35 5 uh, it is 2 and it is a 1 uh, it is 52.5 okay so 52.5 minus 40 will get as a 12.5 is equal to 12.5 okay uh, here i will get as 125 i2 
okay now we are finding what is i2 okay the question is i1 i2 i3 all three is a question okay i2 is equal to 12.5 divided by 125 just multiple in numerator and denominator 10 we will get as i2 is a, uh, it is 125 divided by 1250 so you will get as a 1 divided by 10 the i2 answer will be 0.1 ampere so i got what is i2 now i1 i want okay you can substitute any one of the equation equation 1 or equation 2 any one of the equation will get it as a what is i1 okay because we know i2 is 0.1 okay so we will take it this equation okay this equation i am going to take it okay 10 times of i1 plus it is 15 into it is i2 i2 i know it is a 0.1 into 0.1 is equal to 3.5 so this multiplication i'll get as a 1.5 1.5 plus 10 i1 is equal to 3.5 so 1.5 i am taken as that side 3.5 minus 1.5 i'll get as a 2 so 10 times of i1 is equal to 2 i1 is equal to 2 divided by 10 i'll get as a 0.2 okay now from e from both the equation i got i1 and i2 i1 is equal to 0.1 i2 is equal to 0.2 so i3 what about i3 i3 is uh, addition of this two okay plus 0 0.1 0 0.2 so i3 i'll get as a 0 0.3 ampere so i1 i2 i3 we got using of gritchoff law if you like if you like my channel please subscribe thank you